Peace and love. It's the host of YYZ Highlights, Jamel Williams, and I'm here live at Dazzin Lounge. And we're here with two of the main, I don't know, the main performers, man, the main guys that rocked it, that rocked that live uh, Intimate Interactive. Yes, sir. Live Thursdays. Have you guys been here from the Genesis? Well, I came in a little bit later, probably like a year after. Okay. And it used to be branded by something else, but it's been going on for about four years now, and I've been there for majority of the time. From Jump? <laughs> yeah, man. And yourself, how long you been rocking with these guys, Actually, be before the idea was birthed, me and some friends actually started downstairs. I mean, there was no, there was nothing. Okay. Just the drum, keys, and me. And after a year, we met with James, and he said he had an idea, and we birthed. First, it was Saki and Soul, mm. which, which ran really well, and we felt like we needed to change a little bit so we switched it up and came up with like well he came up with live thursdays right. and it's been strong ever since so for me it's been five years running this spot on a thursday night and wow. we're really really proud of the turnout and the fact that we've never had any static never had any negativity the vibe is always positive always and the music is always wicked when i have people who are gifted and talented like old time yeah you put on a show like old time like when greggy isaacs and that man used to hold it down for like hours you know what i mean for hours bro and that's real talks so talk to me a little bit about your journey man like 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 you're gifted you're talented but like where does it come from <laughs> honestly man it just it comes from growing up in toronto like we're mm. such a diverse city we we get to taste different music different cultures so me personally and omar too we come from jamaican homes right so we grew up on our dance hall our reggae our culture <laughs> music yeah. you know but um i also had a christian mom so i grew up on like a lot of gospel that's where i began to learn like my ad libs and trills yeah. and whatnot but just growing up in the city getting different flavors and tastes as time went on you just kind of meet different people get to experience new things and it molds your sound right that's why really that's why i call myself old sound because mm. i don't really like to fit in a specific genre yeah because it's not fair to me like we listen to everything right Very so true. anything that i feel like doing in that specific time i'll do right urban music brings in less than three percent internationally wow. of music so if you Good. think of Canada, which is all adult contemporary rock, country, yeah. and pop, urban isn't even in there. So what we do is try to make sure that people understand that one, yes, Toronto is a force to be reckoned with, mm -hmm. and two, that every time you come out and you're looking for something to do or somewhere to be, we make sure people have an amazing time when they're here. Because the talent that walks through here is world class, and it's only a matter of time before everybody starts recognizing that. There's a Bible scripture that I go by saying that a man's gift will make room for him. I don't think that really matters where you are. I just feel like if you have that talent and you walk in that, then doors will open for you regardless of where you are. Our job right now is we are the generation that's doing music right now. We are the ones that people are looking at, so you gotta embrace it and just run with it. That's and exactly. there's people coming up behind us too that need people to look up to, right? So you kind of have to learn how to fill that role yeah. and, you know, more the pathway so that the ones coming up after us have an even bigger foundation than we do, right? Very true. Aria Zenwa. Yes. Did I get it? Yes. I got it. Touch me. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? I'm like great. Mm. Great. I was already high before I got here and then I got here and it was just like a love. I opened the door and it was like, ah. Give us a little background on who you are as an artist, because I'm sure some people don't know who you are, so let us know. I was the type of person I was singing, you know, since I was seven. It's in the family and that kind of thing. My father's a musician, okay. um, guitarist. I, I've done, most of my foundation came from being around my father, nice. doing shows within the city. Some people might know if they don't know, then, you know, that's what this is for, so thank you. Okay. What type of music do you do? If you could even I define like it. The, I know, it's one of those because I know, I know, I know. <laughs> okay, I just have to call it soul music. Okay. But I mean, to be more defined, because I know in the business you have to be a little bit more direct. It's like soul, funk, acoustic. You get a splash of reggae in there. Okay. Yeah. So it's an eclectic blend. It is. And I, I've tried to tone it down, but I can't. I just can't. So that's what it is. That's what I'm about. I was in a group called Shades of Brown. Okay. And um, three other sisters. You do? Yeah, I do. Nice. Yeah. Three other sisters. And then I started, a, well, I didn't start it, but I, me, my sister and I came together in a group called Avenue. Okay. And then after that, I went out and did my solo thing. And I've been, I've had the opportunity to go overseas and sing. Bless. With a, yeah. Where have you been? Thanks overseas. for that. Where have you been? I was in Hong Kong for almost a year, singing with a six-piece band. I think that's what, that's what gave me my, like, I could plant my feet yeah. and say, yes, I can do this, you know? Wow. I came back and I was like, I'm not going in another office. Don't give it to me. I don't want it. I'm supposed to sing. Let me sing. You said you've seen the Women of Indigo as Women well. Women of so. Indigo, yes. Mm -hmm. Speaking about Women of Indigo. So Women of Indigo is just a collective of female musicians. Yes. Um, Enuma, actually, mm -hmm. 
Um, I, we met at Kensington, Kensington okay. Market, in Kensington Market, and I had my guitar on my back. Mm -hmm. She had, she didn't have a guitar that day, but she was attracted to the fact that there was another yes. female with a guitar. Yes. And then since that, we met up with Lily okay. and another Whitney French, who is a is a poet, yes, spoken a poet. word artist. Yes, dope, dope amazing. Word artist, yes. And we just came together and said, you know what, we want to put it out there, females playing, not just singing, but playing instruments yeah. and collabor you know, collaborating. And doing so, your thing. Mm -hmm. It's an exchange. That's what I love about performing live. And that's what I loved about tonight. Yes. You put it out there and you just ricochet right back at you. And it's like you. And everyone really gave it back to you. But, but you did, like you said, you did put that energy out there. You put your voice, you put your heart and soul into it. And everyone really gave it back. It was reciprocated. As much as I'm giving back, I'm getting just as much in return. You know okay. what I mean? Like I'm feeding, I want to help literally feed other people not just you know with with actual food but mind body and soul kind of thing and i'm getting the same thing in yeah. return you know what i mean I, i'll never be the type of person to you know forget about that you're hearing my voice right now this is because i was yelling for shot <laughs> that's what was happening you've been rocking this party for a while now years for, for years for years. the beginning right yep and you keep coming back Absolutely. Let's speak about the love that you received just now for the entire yeah. place. Speak like, how does that feel when that energy is just poured right back into you after you? Like, how does that feel? It's it's overwhelming a little bit mm. because like it's just it's just so much love at one time. Yeah. And like you know, in a, in like the world that we live in right now. It's, it's very rare that you feel that much love coming to you at one time. It's like, right. it almost stuns you in a way. Like Everyone always speaks very highly of you, mm. right? No matter what circle I go into, <clears throat> they always speak highly of you. And Jace was saying the same thing, we interview good. And then you're saying like, yo, Shy really is family. From the beginning, Shy has been down, rocking with us 100%. from the beginning, always tearing it up, always doing her <laughs> thing. Okay, so James said, in about two years, we are not gonna have an opportunity like this again. I doubt that. Like, right? You, yeah, I want to know what you thought about that when you said that. I highly doubt that. Mm. Like this is this is one party that I've consistently come to perform to several times per year within the past four or five years. Wow. Like it's never there's no, a year hasn't passed that I haven't performed here at least three times. Okay. Because, like I said, it's just always a comfortable situation. I come to the door. I know the girl at the door. It's yeah. cool. No problems. I come upstairs. I get myself a beverage. Mm -hmm. I relax. I see people that I know. I hug up. I squeeze up. Yes. <laughs> I perform. I feel love. I go back, sit down, chill with everybody like I'm doing right now. I'm going to give a quick plug. Esquire, who makes all of us look good. Shout out Esquire. Always makes us look good Did in front of this Did an amazing job on my yes. EBK, by the way. Right. Shout out. <laughs> it's going to be an exclusive. Let me break this thing. Okay, because... I need to put this. I need to put this on blast from now. It was the hardest thing for me to be able to actually catch you perform, like about a year and a half ago. And this whole time, I was able to actually catch Old Sound, catch the rest of the crew. And for whatever reason, you were almost like Poker crew. I couldn't catch you at no <laughs> performance. What you need to do is check out Shy Wisdom's YouTube channel. Yes. Her EPK is up. Yes. And the honor and the privilege of putting together that EPK came to yours truly. Absolutely. When and, I'm, I, and I'm glad. <laughs> I'm so happy. This superstar has a videographer. It's claimed. It's done. Don't don't even look for nothing else from now. The position is, is filled. There we go. Okay, Jay, you can take it back now if you want. Yeah. I just had to get that out the way. How to get it out the way. A YYZ highlights exclusive with Esquire <laughs> and Shy Wisdom. What's coming up, man, in the new year? It's almost there. Like, do you have any traditions? Do you have any... Do you do that whole, oh, I'm going to make... Uh, I don't believe in New Year's resolutions. Okay, good. No. I think if you feel like you need to make a resolution, then you do it when you feel like you need to make a resolution. I know so many people that'll be, like, in July, being like, my New Year's resolution will be to cut back on salt. Look how many months you have from July until January 1st of the next year. Make your resolutions and stick to them at that time. Don't wait until later, because you wait, it'll never happen. In the new year, you giving us um, that new EP? Oh my gosh, I have, I'm working on an album, I'm working on a mixtape. Album. I'm trying to get on to the Singapore International Jazz Festival. Okay. Um, I'm trying to get into the Jazz Festival in St. Lucia. Okay. I've already That's submitted blessed. my stuff and it's looking like it's going to be a blessed situation, so I'm really looking forward to it. Okay. My name is Omar Lunen. My name is Owen O. Sound Lee. This is Aria Zenwa. And this has been a YYZ Highlight Exclusive. 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 Exclusive.
And this is YYZ Highlight Exclusive. Shawism Jamal with his YYZ Highlights. YYZ Esquire, I know. <laughs>